countless moments in your day where you feel like you might scream, you might run away, you just need a time out of your day to feel more centered, grounded, and to be able to go back into your life feeling a little happier and a whole lot clearer in your mind. Well, if you've ever felt that, and even on a regular basis, then this is exactly for you, this very short little yoga sequence that will bring you back to sanity in five minutes or less. So we've all had those moments, especially with our children, where we feel very frazzled, very tested, like we're at our wits end. So what I encourage you to do is to actually excuse yourself from the room and take a time out. I have a headset somewhere is like floating around the house somewhere. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll take that headset, take my phone into my bedroom and just tell my girls, mommy needs five minutes and I just shut the door. And I say to them, if they need some help getting set up with like coloring or a different activity, I'll help them get set up and I'll say, I need five minutes of quiet time alone. And it's okay. I think it's, it may seem really weird because we don't want to leave our kids wondering if we're okay or we don't want to leave them necessarily by themselves but we know they're fine just in like the living room we know they're fine in the kitchen doing some coloring and we just need five minutes to step away before we snap or before you know we flip our lid and i think it is the best thing that we can do for ourselves it's like call a tea mommy needs a tea mommy needs a time out and take that time for yourself. So that's what today is meant to do, is to give you like a little tool that you can use when you, when you need that time. And this could be a daily thing where you just take time every single day as like maintenance where you take the time every day so that you don't get to that point where you're gonna flip your lid, which it is gonna happen. We all know it happens daily right? So this is all you're going to need for this is some wall space. So you don't need a special spot in your house. You don't need that special setup. All you need is some wall space and you don't even need a yoga mat that you could take five minutes or less. Everything is up against the wall. So even if you can just shut the door in your bedroom and use the back of your door, you're going to inch your way over to this wall space and just shimmy your bum up against the wall. So you want, as you come onto your side, you want both bum cheeks flat against the wall. Make sure your bottom bum cheek is also flat before you roll up. Then bring that outer shoulder down and with both bum cheeks flat against the wall, you're gonna roll yourself up, okay? So to kind of get yourself centered in the wall. So the first little pose we're gonna do is butterfly, just the soles of your feet together, hands are one on top of each other on your stomach. Soles of the feet together in butterfly, closing your eyes. And with your hands on your stomach, all you're gonna do is feel the rise and fall of your deep breaths. So I would say give yourself five to 10 deep breaths in each of these positions. You can plug your headset in with some music. Definitely helps to like instantly change the mood of your current situation. So five to 10 breaths there. Then you're gonna put your feet on the wall, heels on the wall, cross one foot over the other knee and stay here or start to slide the left foot down until you've got a hip stretch. So you're just gonna find a stretch through your right outer thigh and hip that feels really supportive, really good, nothing too crazy strong. And again, hands on your belly button, five to 10 deep breaths here. <sighs> deep breathing out through the mouth is very calming, it sends a very clear signal to your nervous system that you're ready to calm down and switch over to just relaxation and calmness. Five to 10 deep breaths here, and then you would switch sides. So just right leg goes straight, cross the left leg over and start to bend your right knee towards your right shoulder and just stop along the wall wherever you feel a good stretch through the left outer hip and thigh. Five to 10 deep breaths, closing your eyes. And having your hands in your stomach, yes, definitely allows you the focus of you know, noticing your breath, but it also encourages you to take deep belly breaths instead of short, shallow chest breaths. Short, shallow chest breaths are usually what we find ourselves doing if we're in a heightened stressful situation. So we're calming our body down by taking belly breaths. 
Next one would be a wall squat. So the feet would go really wide and you just start to inch your feet down towards like towards the floor. So just taking some deep breaths here. Knees are bent. You can even have your hands on your knees. The feet are going to be about like under your glutes. If you're to think about them up against the wall, then the hands can always guide. If you're a little bit more flexible in the hips, the hands can guide the knees down if you need a little bit more stretch in your hips, groin and inner thighs. Five to 10 deep breaths here. And the last one is just gonna be legs up the wall, one of my favorites. So your legs are gonna go straight. That's it, have your hands resting on your tummy. Let your knees relax, feet relax, eyes closed. Five to 10 deep breaths here. So the thing I like most about this practice is that it's very customizable. If you only have time to do three breaths in each of those poses, just do three breaths. If you have time to do 10 breaths, take that time. But doing something is better than nothing, especially when you feel like your lid is going to flip and you might start being very angry towards people that are in your house, your husband, your children, whoever is around. Don't, don't worry about it. Like it, it, all, it will happen and it does happen. So don't feel bad about it, but just start to notice when that anxiety, that anger starts to rise and see if you could just call a T, a timeout, and retreat yourself for five minutes and notice how much better you feel. I hope this serves you and that you can use it even daily to just help calm your nervous system and just that check in to relax the mental state of your mind. Have a great day, everybody.